Uh, you know, uh, every time we do this show, people come from all over the United States, four or 500 people, they sit in the audience. Well, that means great. Everybody who wrote in for tickets gets in. But for every good story, there's a sad story. People who are waiting, who don't have tickets, they have standby tickets, they don't get in. And because today is such a miserable, rainy day, and these are folks who really want to see a television show, and they didn't get... Hal, turn on the uh, camera out there. This would be our standby audience tonight. Look at them. Look at those people. All right, turn it off. All right, Hal, turn it off. Thank you. They're getting on my nerves. That's our standby audience tonight. Those are the people that got up at dawn and stood outside in the rain all day hoping to see some kind of a television show, and we disappointed them yet again. And, you know, look, already you folks here have seen the giant flying rat. That's... That's the kind of thing... That's the kind of thing you tell your uh, grandkids and your neighbors about. So I want to try and do something nice if I can for these people. All right, turn it on again, Hal. Hey, who, hey, hey, hi. Yes, sir, right there. You at the head of the line. What is your name, please? Yes, sir, you, right there. Stop doing that. What is your name, please? I'm from Germany. Yes, you're from Germany. Well, we'll get you a translator. Oh, please open the doors. And what is his name? Mike. Mike, I tell Mike. you what, uh, I want you to be in charge of the standby audience. Will okay. you do that for me? Okay. All right, now, in an orderly single file in a well-mannered fashion as quickly as you can. Boy, look at the guy at the end. <laughs> Take a lot of giant flying rats to cheer that guy up. Uh, Chris fun. Elliott, isn't it, from the cast of Saturday Night Live? <laughs> Did he used to work here? Chris Elliott, that's a, I don't know. Chris, we could have gotten Chris a ticket, couldn't we somehow? <laughs> all right, I tell you what, um, all right, ma'am, quit styling the shirt. Uh, I tell you what, Mike, uh, br look at this. Uh, Mike, bring everybody here into the Ed Sullivan Theater as quickly as you can, please. Be very, very careful. Chris? Chris? Thank you, Chris. Oh, come on. Sure, I'm sorry. Come on up here. Come, come, come on up here. Great. Good heavens. All right. Chris, I enjoyed you in Cabin Boy. Hi. Now, listen. Uh, you folks haven't missed a thing so far tonight. Uh, you know, when you come to New York City, you want to see television shows, don't you? I mean, there, there are like a dozen, 16 television shows in production all the time here in New York City. As a matter of fact, tonight, simultaneously, as we produce The Late Show here in the Ed Sullivan Theater on CBS, the Conan O'Brien show is in production back at, back at NBC. And you know, that's, that's our old show. We, we used to do that show. When Conan O'Brien heard about our standby audience, he was nice enough to invite you folks <laughs> to go over there. No, it'll be fine. No, it'll, it'll be fine. Okay, there he is right there. That's, that's Conan's show right there. Okay, so now that's where you folks are going. Yes, we're taking you over there right now to, to, see, to see a television show. Are we going? We come on, see. come on, folks, here we, here we go. What is going on? Come on, it'll be fine. There you go. Thank you. Good luck. Be careful. Thank you. Nice to see you. Behave yourself. Thank you very much. Be careful. Take care. Bye-bye. There you go. Go, go, go. Kind of a hostage situation there. Is that what, it, <laughs> that what it turned into be? Well, they'll have the time of their lives. Our standby audience now on their way to our old show to see Conan O'Brien. Cool. To me, you can't do wow. any better than that. We have the standby audience. We see the standby audience out there, and we turn the camera on. I'm trying to talk to a guy named Gunthar. What's his name? <laughs> Gunthar. I don't know. I can't hear Gunthar. Gunthar can't hear me, but yeah. he's from, where is he from? Austria? Germany. He's from Germany. Gunthar is from Germany. Right. Yeah. So, uh, and I'm trying to do something in my heart, what I think is very nice, uh, symbolically, to pay back all of the wonderful patience and loyalty you folks have generated over the years. And uh, so we're going to bring them in here. And first of all, coming in, they don't seem to get the drill about coming in. Right. You think a guy named Gunthar from Germany would have that drill down? <laughs> yes, thanks. But he'd be able to line guys up and get them in here. But no! He was... <laughs> Look at that stuff. A lot of that. Yeah. A lot of Gunthar with the semaphore signals yeah. to his... 
folks back home there in Berlin. So, um, about 20 minutes later, Gunther and the folks are in the theater. And now I explain to them what we're going to do. And, uh, you know, I said, we're, we're going to send you over to the Conan O'Brien show. And they, they don't want to go. Right. So I, I, think, I think you'd have to put that down as a mistake that for us be, as well. Yeah. Now, I, now, the Conan O'Brien show is a wonderful show. Very talented man, very nice young man. And they were kind enough to invite Gunther and those other deadbeats to come over there <laughs> and sit in their audience. And, uh, and so right you now, I'm just... And then in the middle of it all, just when you think, oh, my God, I'm just praying so we get to do a commercial and get the hell out of it. In the middle of it all, I see our producer, Robert Morton, behind his little uh, tree house, whatever he, his little uh, hobby house there, his little clubhouse, he's doing this to me. While I'm trying to talk to Gunther and, and the folks there, uh, he's... <laughs> and I said, what is it, Bob? And I'm like four feet from him, and instead of talking to me, he says this. So I think you'd have to uh, say that the first round so far is a draw. Wow. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. There's Gunther right there. I don't want to name names. I don't want to place blame, but you're looking at him right there, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's where it all... Well, hello, girls! See, look at that. Yeah, but they weren't that peppy when they got in here. <laughs> oh, we don't want to go see another free TV show. We want to stay in the lobby. Okay. They, they set their sights a little too high. Okay. <laughs> they rather just stay in the lobby. They're lobby dwellers. That's all they are. That's all they'll ever be. They're lousy lobby dwellers. They don't deserve Conan O'Brien. Paul and I, by the way, that's, that's our old show. That's right. It's kind of sad. They're there. You're no help, Paul. Uh... Oh, are they there? Oh, there they are in the van. Let's uh... see if their attitude has changed since the van ride. There's Gun... No, that's not wow. Gunthar. Wow. Hell, it's happened to Gunthar. Here we go. Hey. And we're just as nice. We're, we're not seeing anything. That's great. There they go. They're scurrying along. Going right up. That's a beautiful building. There they go. That's NBC. All right. All right. Stop it. All right. Doesn't help. Okay. No one's enjoying this. Stop it. Here we go. The category tonight from the uh, home office there in... Oh, here, oh, let's start the music again, Paul. <laughs> Look at this. This is not working at all. Yeah. They're, they're frightened. Oh, Something's yeah. going wrong. They, they may be arrested. Yeah. Oh, no, they see... There they go. There's three oh, of them. That. This is like some kind of outward bound project. The rest of them are lost in Manhattan and they'll never be seen again. There they go. They're, oh, there. Now, see, look, they're in the show. There. Oh, yeah, now, now they act like they want to be there. Look at this. Look at these little weasels. Oh, my God. It's the Stockholm Syndrome. I've seen it a million times. They're, yeah, they're identifying with the aggressor. Oh. <laughs> now, look at how wow. polite they're being. Mr. O'Brien is right there. Thank you, Conan. That's Andy Richter. Thank you, Andy. Good luck. They're wonderful people. I'm sure you'll have a lovely show. Hey, don't, don't be discouraged by the fact that they've ruined our show. Now, come on. Uh, hand out the lays. Okay, hand that's fine. The Let's get back to the everybody. top ten list. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a copy. <laughs> you know, there, there are people like that. What do you mean? Well, they, you know, say there are two parties in any given night, and the folks have been invited to two parties. They go to the first party, they ruin that, then they go to the second right. party, they ruin that. <laughs> There's just people like that. I don't know what it is. Some kind of chemistry. Yeah, they get, yeah, I know. They got, <laughs> believe me, go. they're going to ruin that show before the night is done. There, I'm telling you. Great. Yeah, well, we got a giant flying rat. Why, Ties? I know. We're, are we a little late? Oh, we've broken Corky's heart again. Oh. <laughs> Don't break Corky's heart. Don't break Corky's heart if you know it. <laughs> We're out of time, folks. Now stay tuned for Tom Snyder, Tom's guest tonight, Norm Crosby. Good night, everybody! Worldwide Pants.